get ready to experience the fury of a really long intro. And off to China again, which is still the fourth episode as it was in the first one. Chinese food. Careful analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. More fire! Haha. -ha. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the thievious raccoons. Eventually, I caught up with him. No doubt. He claimed back what he had stolen. I kicked your ass. There was no way I was going to let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. Giant beards and hair. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China. That was strange. Imagine they can get so good in disguises, you wouldn't expect. And there he is. The old man himself. And the team is here. Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! There we Have go. you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kind of zenned out. Ah, uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King! We humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He is clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good. The walk up here tired me out. I don't want to turn around now. Man, I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you can get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way, is he serious? Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Ha, have to die. <laughs> I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Because, uh, I don't know, it's... yeesh. Don't worry, Penelope. This is the first of many discoveries. Big boo Wait a minute, how could he have guards? Ag! Alright, buddy, you wanna fight? I'll give you a fight. There. Still, how does he have guards? When, of course, I kicked all his guards out.
And there we go. figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where are we going to get them? The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! That's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I'd love to see him pull off those athletic moves. Huh? What happened? Good I got bored again. Turret on this little lady. 